Chief Minister Birin says Centre has sanctioned a 90 crore rupees under Hill Budget Scheme for Tamilong District. The 13 Arambam Samarendram Memorial Lecture in connection with 18 Arambam Samarendram Martyrdom Observant held today at Lamyanbar Shangri. Nineteen member team from Manipur leaves for Myanmar to attend a business meet entitled Business Networking and Growth between Northeast India and Myanmar. And people of Tarung Village sit in against unidentified miscreants shooting one non local labourer dead and enduring another at the village last night. Kurumjiri, good evening. You're watching Prime Time English News. And I'm Victoria Rajkumari bringing you the latest updates. First up, the centre has listed Tamilong district among the 52 backward districts of the country selected to provide Hill Budget Scheme. Chief Minister Nong Thomamirin announced that the centre has sanctioned 90 crore rupees under Hill Budget Scheme for Tamilong district. The Chief Minister was speaking on the sidelines of the meeting with eminent personalities to seek the advice and blessing in celebration of four-year completion of NDA government at the centre today. The Chief Minister met with senior journalist Kangujam Madhumangol, retired judge of Meghalaya High Court Tayingjam Nandukumar, senior journalist A.K. Sanaton and former Advocate General of High Court of Manipur Ashok Patsambam at their restaurant today. Addressing the media person after the meetings, Chief Minister Virain said the bond between the people of the hills and the valley will be strengthened only when there is equal development. He maintained that the centre has introduced Hill Budget Scheme after the state government proposed a topographical need-based budget. The Chief Minister stated that the scheme will also cover other hill districts. He also said that Tamilong district is given the priority as it is the most backward district in the state. Speaking on the issue of implementation of 7th Pay Commission in the state, the Chief Minister maintained that he summoned an official meeting with of Amtuk and Amjo twice, however they refused to turn up. Assuring that all government employees in the state will be benefited by the 7th Pay Commission, the Chief Minister stated that no issue can be resolved without proper communication. He maintained that the lives of 28 lakh population in the state is more important than that of a chief minister or a government employee. He appealed to all to abide by the laws of the state and not to create hindrances in the lives of common people in the state. Regarding the issue at Manipur University, the chief minister is sure to bring a resolution by meeting the higher education minister of the Ministry of Human Resource Development without further delay. Anung Sinabun, Porke Haragadi singer Meritam Anima Puna Sakun in Negadamini Habit. Ado, Kamai Sakur can equate with Bajak Karajin Sakur Pera and the topographical need based budget and Amas Yangu the Bunny had an equine demand to win. She's in Hungary, Sahi Kuntani Puyan Kaisimasigi, visions the Ogdab. I don't know who's the Aquina, Madu, Bizepi Gomena, a Bizepi led Gomen, the other lady Modi Zida, Modi Gomen, the Aquina Hirakanda, who's the Timadu implement of Hore. Manipur Katakina Teko, Hill Bajet and Lise, Tongana, extra sorter Bazingi. I'm a Kaleduna, a Kuigi, Taming Long area. Singi area, Luya, we do a hand by the district wise when a Pikalapa. On the Hunter Sam Taming Long, see Indiagi State District, Yang Kagan, it's a subject to correction. I do Kanmugi Munu, Nipumapan Shu, the lay. I do Gi, Nipumapan Shu, but do the Yauri and Drogon, ninety crore. Taming Long, see the Gwena, my infrastructure, Karikari Shem Kutnabagi, a sanctuary, and Madu copy on the lie. BJP Manipur Pradesh has claimed that LPG gas connections have been provided to 48,846 households till April ever since BJP came to power in the state. The party also alleged to Congress party that despite the presence of various welfare schemes of the centre during its rule in the state, benefits of the scheme were not provided to the people. Members of BJP Manipur Pradesh were addressing media person at the press meet held at the residence of Chief Minister Nongthumam Birain in Loang Sambam as a part of Vishesh Samprak Abhiyan in celebration of four years rule of BJP government at the centre and one year in the state. 
Speaking on the occasion, General Secretary Administration BJP Manipur Pradesh K. Sarat Kumar said 130 welfare schemes have been introduced successfully by the government. He said people are availing the benefits of the scheme, especially Ujwala and Mudra Yojana. Sarat Kumar maintained that the members of the party are putting all out efforts to provide the benefits of the schemes to the people. Atu party ke ana sarkar pai ringe da office ta lai riba praja miyam amana supna ki masa amgi class 10 pass tawre na 12 pass tawre makoi ki ming janma tam da sin nagada ba income certificate lobo chat pa ba buda matam da do waram ba bjp ki sarkar sila hek lak buda ki di go to village na ekoi ekoi ki thongan da ekoi ki thong thong da hai riba awar pa kaya singa si ye la re pi na re mana mana lobo ya scheme project maya madu lobom to pumina Lahun nabu hanabul mating pang biu adu kalu ina na exact ayi ayi lai riba fiba madu koi census lak pa itsil na opsing da adu koi itsil isis sing da census collection tau bula iba miyam da kangan biu adu kalu ina tam biu adu kalu ina na sarkana pitha riba program mayam sa masiki kudong sa ba lau nabu hana biu. Nauria Pakhang Lakpa MLA as Subhash Chandra flagged off a bike rally in Nauria Pakhang Lakpa constituency today. Bharatiya Janata Yuba Morcha Nauria Mandal organized a rally as a part of the ongoing Vishesh Samparak Abhiyan observed all across the country celebrating four years of NDA government at the center. The rally started from the public ground of Ningomba Mayai Laikai and passed through areas in the constituency and concluded at the starting point. Speaking to media person prior to the rally, MLA S. Shubhas Chandra stated that the rally was organized with an aim to raise awareness on all schemes initiated by the BJP government at the center and the state. Nauria Pakhang Lakpa Kendra da Honu Liba Development ki Aku Ngo Mayam Singh si Nga Sigi Reli si da Ikoi Punna Yuba Morsa ki Yuch Singhi Loi Na Na Ikoi Na Tau Hiba Sahi Yaman Si Da Tau Hiba Everything Kuding Maktu Nga Si Punna Tau Hiba Thabak Singh Da Punna Yang Chan Minna Ba Aujik On Going Da La Yuba Mayam Singh si Root Si Ikoi Loi Na Ba Kendra ki Lambi Power Ga Loi Na Ba Chala Ga Si Ning Lokil Ira Di Mayam Fan Amadi Sarkar ki Thada Rakpa PWD ki Adi ki Health Engineering PhD ki Thada Rakpa Program saya am sing doang sih, ekoi pun na, kau min na, bapun na, yang min na bagi kudong sah, bapun ekoi cahih, bapun para bagi adung bagi reli sih dah, seluk ya zaman bagi luaran na, ekoi pun na, sami na bagi adung bagi reli ni aja na. A bike rally was organized in Thanga constituency in celebration of the completion of four years rule of BJP government at the center and one year of BJP led state government today. Thanga MLA T. Robindro flagged off the rally conducted as a part of Vishesh Samparak Abhiyan from Thanga Lawai Khongsang Mapan. Speaking to media person, MLA T. Robindro claimed that BJP will win the 2019 Lok Sabha election and NDA continue its governance under the NDA government. BJP Nambol Mandal also organized Vishesh Samparak Abhiyan commemorating four years of BJP rule at the center and one year at the state. Vice President of BJP Manipur Pradesh and retired IPS Thangaujam Basanta flagged off a motor rally at Nambol Maibam War Memorial as a part of the observance. Speaking to media person, TH Basanta affirmed that the BJP candidates will definitely win the Lok Sabha parliamentary election 2019. Khetrigao constituency MLA and Indrajit under Ujwala scheme has distributed free LPG gas connections to families below the poverty line at Khetrigao today. RBD Indian Service and Khetrigao BJP Mandal organized the distribution program at Thambalkong Maitai Sanglin. The gas connections were handed over to 98 beneficiaries with AAY cards in the constituency. 
He stated that the main objective of the BJP government is to bring equal development to all sections of society and maintain a smokeless environment. He also further assured that the scheme will try to benefit all beneficiaries in the constituency at the earliest. Thirteen Arambam Samarendra Memorial Lecture in connection with 18 Arambam Samarendra Martyrdom was held today at Lamyanba, Shanglin. Head of Economics Department, Manipur University, Professor Amar Yumnam spoke on Manipur and Development, Political Economy of Conclusion. Addressing the gathering, the professor maintained that the state will progress only when the state acts according to the interests of the citizens. He stated that Manipur, in comparison to other states in India, still lags behind in human resources. He maintained that the citizens of the state has been anticipating the Act East policy. However, the Act will not yet be beneficial to the state. Amar also spoke at length on the contribution made by Arambam Somarendro and highlighted the martyr's wishes and desires. Representatives of various civil society organizations attended the memorial lecture organized by Arambam Memorial Trust. The 18th death anniversary of renowned writer Rambam Samarendra was also observed at Nungshi Kong Park, Chana in Lamlai constituency today. A book entitled Sairing Amasung Samarendra, authored by Nomaitim Singhajit, was also released at the observance organized by Patriotic Writers Forum Manipur, PAWF. Said the Academy Awardee Professor Jodha Chandra Sanasam and members of Patriotic Writers Forum Manipur attended the event. Social Standard Club Kurai Nandebam Laikai, in association with Arambam Samarendra Trust, also organized the 18th Arambam Samarendra Martyrdom Commemoration Program today. Floral tributes were offered at the memorial site of the martyrs and successful student in the class 10 and 12 board examination 2018 were also felicitated with gifts and mementos on the occasion. Representatives of Nupi Samaj, Amkil, Nompok Lengak Apun Balup and Chingmi Tamni Lup attended the event. A 19-member team from Manipur left Imphal to attend a business meet entitled Business Networking and Growth between Northeast India and Myanmar, organized by Consulate General of India, Mandalay and Myanmar today. A team led by MCCI Vice President S.H. Khagemba under the supervision of Manipur Chamber of Commerce and Industry, MCCI and Mandalay Region Chamber of Commerce and Industry flagged off the team from MSRTC Complex. The team will, re will reach Mandalay on June 13 and attend the meeting at the office of Mandalay Region Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Yada Narbon Supercenter, Mandalay. Mandalay Madi Yangon Yi Kongja Si Yam Na Artha Leva Kongja Na Moi Gedori Bani Maram Di Handak Na Ekoi India Ki External Affairs Minister Susma Swaraj and Myanmar Ki Foreign Secretary Minister Aung San Suu Kyi Ga Suk Tiya Ma MOU Tariyat Kak Sain Tung Na Bada Sain Dugi Manung Da Cross Border Prime Ekoi Ki Cross Border Chathok Susin Tau Bugi Aya Basi Agas Ki Tarama Tau Di Hau Doro Bani Maram Di Mani Purda Leva Praja Khudi Mak Na Yam Na Hai Dari Myanmar Ki Ya Tau Asao Risi Si Ki Ekari Umat Tret Tung Ning Ba Adu Ga Lalo Liti Ki Lam Koi Ba Tung Ning Ba Ma Yam Dugi Kudong Cha Ba Pangata Bani Sarkar Ani Sikit live development sih dah Manipurna, ekoi gigit atau sahur sih sih agi gigit, orang ini na sober rule malah logzah ini. 
People of Talung village and members of women organization of the village stays a sit-in against unidentified miscreant shooting one non-local laborer that and injuring another at Tarung Happy Village, Happy Valley on the Lumfail police station last night around 7. The deceased is identified as Montu Bashwan and injured as Chanwan Bashwan. The protester condemned the action of terrifying the people. Speaking to media person, secretary of Naikai Long Development Women's Society, Zhang Mei Mering Mei said Tarung is a very peaceful colony. However, the yesterday's incident had terrified the locals. She said it is inhuman to kill someone indiscriminately. Mering Mei appealed to the authority concerned to find out those involved at the earliest and not to repeat the same in the future. On the other hand, the secretary also appealed to release five innocent youth who were arrested by the police in connection with the incident within 24 hours without any condition. Ado matung mana ada sosi masih amna tau bi ganu, am amada amada oisno lekai amada oisno kun amada oisno si masih tau bi si am pate, mi hapa asih masuk kandem tau, mi ato pun ala ala aga pate apa apa aku ikut private ikut kun gi lekai ikut amada tau raga anda area ikut kun gi. Angang sing enosian oib sida maran sido aga ama ama orang aga polis na ngarang evening dagi na pagi, adu hujik pau tha doktori, adu na adu supen de angang sing tau na. 24 hours ago, I had to talk to you about it. It's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the condition of St. Jamai Bridge. We'll be back with the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Foot of St. Jamai Bridge, which is an important area of the Imphal city, has become a dumping area. Both the end of the bridge are filled with solid waste dumped by the resident, shopkeepers and vendors of St. Jamai Market and the residual liquid from the waste are being drained into Imphal River. No dustbins are seen at the market which is under the jurisdiction of Imphal Municipal Council. Speaking to Impact News, a local of the area, Furailatpam Ajit Sarma said, the locals have stopped disposal of the solid waste at the foot of the bridge and that they have started pressurizing the authority concerned to install dustbins at the area. Jen mesin bung mari untuk polis polis kita sayat ini mohon kita tengah mesin panggil kita nak kontrol tahu begini. Polisin gumba kari gumba sekarang nuga usir untuk tebal ya tapi untuk pemilik tebal ni na untuk apa aduh masih aina hatta lagi woi na nusah cawan betul masih dah kau speaker sayat na tahu begini. Kita mesti na hatta aku tinggi mai tahu dok cerita semai tu orang orang betul tu tahu begini lejeri sih. Kalau pusing na tahu raga komplain tahu dia hari tu na report pi dia na tahu beradu tak sih betul masih mohi na kah dia gua na mohi na yang hening betul lagi. Akui su kerajaan tadi yang na hai di hai jaga berani memang tu suka. Kecian segi, orang na dasmi nama thambiu masih. Si milis parti kangku na yang jen bigat raa kanan na mui mari lain na kangku na kuah yang jen bio hai na jadi. Amo akui kerajaan langtuk bawa ura di. Madu tu kudung sabar lau raga luaran langsir na bang agtan ni hai ba. Akui isha maksu isha maksu turian jadi cingkat laga dengki dah stok tu raga siapa kat hai ibanya hai ba. Adun yang china nak na amot pasal lai raba ni na aisy jum sai dekini tu mui jekuah. Adun akui hangui bumb suyau raba. Adun mewan dekini ising je lai raga na ayam ba. Development organization Andro Kender organized the 12th Meritorious Award Distribution Program at Thambal New Market, Poropad, Lamkai today. The fourth position holder in the recently declared Class 10 board examination, Arjuna Hijam of Catholic School, Kanchipur from Top Jingthai Yaripok, was felicitated by presenting one lakh cash award on the occasion. Archana, along with 28th position holder K. Romita, 24th position holder Muhammad Hanif, and 17th position holder of Class 12 Council Examination Mutum Mirtish Kumar and 18th position holder Kori Mayum Firdos were also felicitated on the occasion. Speaking on the occasion, Andro MLA and Minister of Mahud, Forest and Environment, Horticulture and Soil Conservation, Thongaujung Sham Kumar noted the efforts undertaken by development organization Andro Kendra. He stated that the organization has been organizing meritorious award functions since 2006. 
The minister further announced a cash award of 10 lakh rupees to students who secured in the top 10 positions from government school and 5 lakh rupees to students from private school starting from next year. All students who secured first division in the class 10 board examination conducted by CBAC and Manipur board were also felicitated on the occasion. The Ministry of Minority Affairs, Government India, and Pivani. Ozi Ozi Kasoba Gandhi, Balika School, Androd Ozi Asawa Building Masagale, Quickup Tasawa Building Sagale, School Sagale, Hosean Sagale, Lam Kudimaki, Andagi Ramanda High School, Ozi Kun Building Sagale. I think it's never top Sintaki Sagale, Yambengi Sagale, Sangan Dabigi Sagale, Anitonagi Sagale, Tumukongi Sagale, Munam Puringi Sagale, Azuzu Natana, Manipuri, Impal Iskiwena, this is the same modern school number. 25 crore per second central to the Muram Purin the Piri. Masimo Impal East West Cyber is hard as in the Tamuda Badu school. Marusubatan say, Koi, a print number of social numbers have to Koi, Shanamakan, Honoria. A felicitation program for all meritorious students who cleared the class 10 and 12 board examination conducted by Bosum, Kosum, and CBAC was organized at Hinzu Naha Community Hall, Lari Gimbam Laikai in Impal East District today. Kaching Tabam KK Sharma from Lamlong High School, who scored the highest among all government schools in the state, was also felicitated at the event organized by Public Action Committee of the locality. Media Construction Private Limited observed its third foundation day at the company's complex at Ayangpali today. National General Secretary of NPP Vivek Raj Wangkem, proprietor of Arun Enterprises Arun Thangjum, director of LDA L Bhagaton, and many eminent personalities attended the event. Speaking on the occasion, Vivek Raj Wangkem lauded the initiative undertaken by Mete Construction Private Limited in providing employment facilities to the youth of the state and convey his wishes to the company's success. Also speaking on the occasion, Arun Thangjam applauding the company's success stated that Mete Construction Private Limited has provided employment to altogether 200 people. He further expressed that the problem of unemployment faced by the state will be reduced if more similar companies are instituted in the state. Managing Director of Mite Construction Private Limited, CH Ashok Maite, said that the company further aims to improve the quality in the construction sector and expand its chain of business among, across the state. He also pointed out that Shemro Keats Garden, a chain of preschool for children, has also been established in the state. Prajapita Brahmakumari Ishwarya Vishwa Vidyalaya Thangmaiban branch observed its second foundation day at the residence of Jyotin Waikom, Vice President of BJP Manipur Pradesh at Thangmaiban Hijam Laikai today. Speaking on the occasion, Raja Sabha MP and President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Ketri Mayum Vavananda expressed that it is important to understand oneself and act accordingly. He maintained that the Brahma Kumaris play a significant role in preventing various atrocities made it out to the people to spread love and harmony among different communities across the state. Jotin Waikom also stated that activities undertaken by Brahma Kumaris is not affiliated or based to any religion. NSCN GPRN in a press release stated that the first death anniversary of former president and chairman of NSCN SS Kaplang was observed at the organization council headquarters yesterday. Representatives of proscribed Alpha, Alpha I, NDFB, UNLF, KYKL, KCP, Prepark Pro, Prepark, NLFT, KPDC, KLO and RFF attended the observance. The press release also stated that he will be remembered as one of the pioneers and leaders of West Southeast Asian nationalist movement. A new branch of Southeast Asia Cultural Organization was opened at Moirang Lamkai Bishnupur district today. Officials of the organization attended the event. 
MSU Singjumai branch in a press release has informed that the students organization under the aegis of Old Manipur Students Union MSU Imphalways District Committee will organize a felicitation program for students who passed out with flying colors in the class 10 and 12 examination 2018 conducted by BOSUM, COSUM and CBAC under the jurisdiction of MSU Singjumai branch at Singjumai Community Hall on July 1st. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal has ordered a high-level inquiry into a case related to the mob lynching of two men on suspicion of being child lifters in Karbi Along district. He assured strongest action against culprits involved in the incident. The Chief Minister has appealed to people to remain calm and not to listen to rumours mongers. People and civil society organizations have condemned the brutal killings and demanded action against the culprits. Meanwhile, state police has arrested 16 people for their alleged involvement in the case. The two men were lynched by a mob who suspected them to the trial lifters at Panjuri Kachari village under Dokomaka police station on Friday. And before we wrap up, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Birin says Centre has sanctioned a 90 crore rupees on the Hill budget scheme for Tamilong district. The 13 Arambam Samarendra Memorial Lecture in connection with 18 Arambam Samarendra Martyrdom Observant held today at Lamyanba Shangri. Nineteen member team from Manipur leave for Myanmar to attend a business meet entitled Business Networking and Growth between Northeast India and Myanmar. And people of Tarung village stay sitting against unidentified miscreants shooting one non-local labourer death and injuring another at the village last night. 